Stanislaw Wayne Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the first to propose mathematical motions of planets. So we had Brahe, who believed in a very strange model. So he believed that the sun orbit the Earth, but that the other planets orbit the sun. So his model was, he was quite confused with the data that he was getting and he could not explain a lot of the actual background that he collected. But he spent many years collecting data to prove this and he never really got too far with it. Um, that's because his thesis was wrong. But then came uh, Kepler and took all of his work and on top he did all of the data analysis himself too. And then he came up with these ideas that were the first mathematical understanding of planets. So Kepler is the first uh, scientist who really looked at the motion of planets. And he discovered the planetary laws, and we still um, swear to those three laws. So the first one is that planet orbits in ellipses. So they have elliptical orbits. And this one took him a while because everything back then used to, everybody believed that everything was circular and perfect. And it took him a while to understand why some planets will suddenly move a lot faster than other uh, regions. And eventually he figured out that just the orbits were just not perfectly circular, they're elliptical. So the second one is the equal area law. And that's, a, that's quite interesting. So he was looking at, let's say, here's the sun, here's the earth. And let's say you timed how long it takes you to go from here to here. So the Earth is traveling. And you look at this area. And let's say it took you, you know, 30 days to look at that area. So then you go to the other side of the orbit. And you wait also 30 days. And despite the fact that it looks like you cover a lot less ground and you're going a lot slower, this area is the same. So area two is the same. Meaning that even this, these areas are the same if the time is the same. So that was a very interesting, it's called the equal area law. And the third one is that he realized that the period, the orbital period square is proportional to the distance to the semi-major axis cubed. So if you take an elliptical orbit and you see the distance to the elliptical orbit, this is actually what dictates the orbital uh, period. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Kepler, the first to actually discover the mathematical background for planet motions. Mm -hmm.